Hey guys, it's Al with Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video. Well guys, I've got a brand new product for you. This is the EcoFlow 3-in-1 alternator charger, and let me tell you, this is super innovative. EcoFlow found a need and created a solution. Think about this. If you take your Delta Pro power station with you, and you're an RVer, you live the van life, right? You take long road trips, you know, camping, and you, you bring your Delta Pro power station with you. Well, you've only got two ways to charge it, right? You've got solar and you've got your car charger. Now, solar, you have to bring panels with you. You've got to set them up. They take a lot of space, right? And then car charging, you're going to get like 100 watts average car charging. The alternator charger is not only great for your battery, but it also will provide up to 800 watts of charging when you're out on the road. Think about that, that is phenomenal. So let's go ahead and take some time. Let's check this out. Let's get this party started. Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor. But keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. All right, this is what we're going to be covering in this video. I'm going to be doing an unboxing. We're going to take a close look. We're going to see what's included. We're going to go over detailed specs. I'm going to break down the three-in-one features. We're going to go over what deltas are compatible with this. How fast can they charge your delta? And do you need anything? Because you might need something. All right, hit pause if you want to look at this more, but we're going to move on. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. And there you go. There's everything. Here's your alternator charger. This is heavy. It's beefy. It's, it's you know pretty solid. Here is what they call an insulation board, but this is really like a bracket. This is a cable puller. So this is what you'd remove. If, if you plug the cable into this, this is how you remove it. You're probably not going to use it, but just in case... Maybe you want to take this out of one vehicle and put it into another because you just sold your vehicle. That's kind of the use I would see. All of your screws and everything in here. You get a uh, XT150. This is an output cable. So this is going to output um, from the Delta and plug right into the alternator charger. This is about 3.3 feet. You get the input cable. Now, I'll put some measurement up on the screen, but this is basically going to go again from your battery all the way to wherever you install the alternator charger. All right, so I'll put some measurements up on the screen right now so you can see how long that is. And here's your uh, installation and user guide. And you can always get a new one from their website just in case they update it or whatnot. You know, I always recommend looking at the latest and greatest one. And that's it. That's everything that you get. Now, I'm going to take some time real quick. I want to go over some basic information, cost, specs. And, you know, let's start off with what is this for, right? If you're watching this video. you know, The thing is, for folks that you know, basically jump in their vehicles and take road trips and bring their Delta power station with them. The challenge has always been, how do I recharge it? If I use my car charger, I'm going to get like 100 watts. It's going to take forever to charge my Delta. Now, if I bring solar panels, the problem is I have to stop. I have to set up my solar panels. I have to bring enough solar panels. And will you get 800 watts? Probably not, you know, unless you've got some big panels. So that's where they came out with the alternator charger, because this can supply up to 800 watts safely from your vehicle. 
All right, and that's the key thing, safely. So that's where this comes from. Now let's go ahead and go over some basics. So this is $599, all right? I'll put links in the description. It has a 125 amp fuse that's gonna be on this cable. This cable is six gauge, by the way. This is a six gauge thickness, all right? So it's a pretty thick wire. It's 16 feet, nine inches. So again, running from the alternator charger to your battery. Now, the alternator charger has uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You know, so if you're in Bluetooth range, obviously in your vehicle, you're going to use Bluetooth. I'll put the operating temperature and the storage temperature on the screen for you, just so you're aware if you want that information. Um, the weight on this is 5.1 pounds or 2.3 kilograms, and this comes with a two-year warranty. Now, here's a question I want you to think about. If you install this in your vehicle and you have a warranty, will this void your warranty? You're going to have to check with your vehicle manufacturer on that, okay? It's not a question I can give you an answer. If you don't have a warranty, then you don't care. But if you have a warranty and you're connecting this to your battery and your vehicle, I don't know. So check with your vehicle manufacturer if you would be voiding your warranty by connecting this. Now, I'm going to pull up a slide real quick. Eagle Flow says this is safe. This alternator charger is safe. As you can see, they use something called GAN technology, and it offers reverse polarity protection, over current protection, short circuit protection and over and under voltage protection. Now let's go ahead and take a close look at this. So as I said to you before, this is going to get installed from your battery and it's going to run all the way to the back to connect to this. And then this is the cable that you're going to use from here to your Delta power station. So, you know, you got 3.3 feet. Not too bad. So you just got to realize that when you install this. Can you get a longer cable? I don't think so. I think this is the only cable. So just be aware, you've got 3.3 feet once you have this installed where you want it installed. Now, let's talk about the, you know, the, the device here. So this is an antenna for Wi-Fi. All right. But that's if you're going to use Wi-Fi. If you're not, don't worry about it. Um, this is the battery port. So that's the big cable will actually plug into here. All right. And you can see that. All right. So the cable from the, uh, you know, the battery will run all the way from the battery to here. This is going to connect to the Delta power station. All right. And uh, on the right side here, they've got an Ethernet port. I, I don't know why um, they don't list what it's used for. So I guess... Maybe it's for maintenance or something. In the back, they've got some screws so that you can use the included mounting plate. All right. It is heavy. Again, you know, I, I talked about the weight in the specification area, but that is a close look. Let's talk a little bit about the three-in-one features. All right. All right, so the first slide is charging mode, right? That's the main thing you're going to be doing. The alternator in your car while you're driving is going to be charging your Delta. Now, just so you'll know, the input is 76 amps max, 11 to 35 volts. The output is 800 watts max, 40 to 60 volt. And when you're using charging mode, the indicator light will be green. That's assuming that you have the alternator charger somewhere that you would see it. All right. Now, the next one is going to be called jump starter or what they call reverse charging mode, as you can see from the image on the screen. Now, that basically is like jump starting your battery, just so you'll know. Let's just say you left your lights on and your battery in your car is dead, right? Well, as long as your Delta battery has enough capacity, 
you can put this in reverse charging mode and it can actually jump start your vehicle. All right. Now you need to change the setting in the EcoFlow app to do that. Um, input is 21 amps, 40 to 60 volt. Output is 13.8 or 27.6 volts, 800 watts. Now the indicator light will be yellow in that case, showing that it is in reverse charging mode. And the last of the three in ones, I'll pull this up on the screen, is what we call trickle charger, or they call it maintenance mode. But it's really a trickle charger, right? And it can trickle charge your battery. So it's just a unique feature. Input is three amp, 40 to 60 volt. Output is 13.8 slash 27.6 volt, 100 watts. As you can see, it's not a lot of watts. And the indicator light will be white. Now, if your indicator light is red, then you've actually got a device failure on the alternator charger. So just be aware of that. Let's take some time now and talk about which power stations are compatible. So as you can see on the top left, you've got the Delta Pro and there's more to come. So be aware. Um, I need to talk to you about the Delta Pro a little bit. It won't be compatible out the box. Uh, the Delta 2 Max is a new power station. It's also compatible with the Delta Max 2000 and the Delta Max 1600. That's the older version of the Delta Max, right? The Delta Max 2000 and the Delta Max uh, 1600 are both compatible. And the Delta 2, right, the smaller power station that they released recently, the Delta 2 Extra Battery and the Delta 2 Max Extra Battery. Now, I want you to notice that the Delta Max battery is not listed. And because it's not listed, I have to assume it's not compatible. Now, I reached out to EcoFlow, and if they update me that it is compatible, well, I'll put a note up on the screen letting you know that it is. But as it, at this time, it's not. But let's get into more information. So the next question, do you need anything, right? Other than your Delta you know, power station, right? The compatible power station. Do you need anything? Well, yes. If you see the image on the screen, um, if you have a Delta Pro, you actually need to get what they call a smart generator adapter. Now I'm going to have the link in the description, but what this does is it plugs into the back of the Delta Pro and it converts a battery port and it makes it very similar to the one that you would have on like a Delta II. All right, it's $69 and the link will be in the description, but you do need that. If you're gonna use a Delta Pro, you do need that adapter. All right, let's take some time now and talk about estimated charge times based off 800 watts. So you're driving, right? And that's the key thing. As long as you're driving and your car's running, your alternator's running, and so these are going to be estimated times of your alternator and the alternator charger charging your Delta power station. So the Delta 2 would take 1.3 hours. Delta 2 extra battery, the same thing, 1.3 hours. Delta 2 max, 2.6 hours. Delta 2 max extra battery, 2.6 hours. A Delta Pro would take 4.8 hours, so hopefully you have a nice drive somewhere. And while you're driving, it's charging that Delta Pro. Your Delta Max 2000 would be 2.6 hours, and your Delta Max 1600, 2.1 hours. All right, guys. Well, I'll tell you. Super, super unique, you know? It's, it's very innovative, to be honest with you, that EcoFlow saw a need and created a device like this, you know? And if you overland, if you take long trips, right, if you van life, if you RV, I mean, this could be a lifesaver. It could be very, very helpful. And if this video helped you in any way, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. 
And by the way, I'll put our social media channels right up top. All right. And you can follow us on social media. You can also check out our new Tesla channel. It's a new channel. We're just starting out. And you can look us up on YouTube at My Tesla Journey One. I'll put some videos here on the right side for you. And if you want to subscribe to our channel and join our family, well, go ahead and click that round Tech Made Easy logo right there. And you'll be able to subscribe and join our family. All right, guys, thanks so much for your time. Have a wonderful day.